Hello, we're into level here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. Now we're going to pick up where we left off and go on to level 3. See if we can get ourselves a nice dungeon item and a piece of the Triforce. It's one step closer to putting that thing back together. So, it's, uh, it's actually not a very long trip from the, the start of uh, the game, where we were presented with our original you know, wooden sword, basically our, our pointy stick. So we're going to head straight over there and get to work. This is still an early dungeon and still relatively easy. Alrighty. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I know in some of the, the dungeons there's more than one way in. There's of course the opening right there. This might not be one of them. I, I could be completely mistaken. All right. In some of the dungeons, you can get in. You can get in by moving an armor statue, and it it takes you right to the first room. It's not a separate room or a back door or anything. So, it just a, a set of stairs that appears into the armors when you when you uh, trigger them to leave, and um, you you get into the dungeon that way. It's no big deal. Now these things, I don't know if they're called Cole's voice or what. No, Pulse Voice, I think, are the rabbit ear things that we'll see later. But interestingly enough, if you don't have the white sword when you get in here, which is very possible, they will split into those gel enemies. Um, but if you have the white sword or st or stronger, yes, there's a stronger sword, um, you can kill them and they can actually drop items. If you split them into the gels, they will not drop anything for you, so just keep that in mind. Um, I mean, if you come in here and you don't have the, if you don't, you know, if you come in here and you don't have the sword, you know, there's not much you can do about it. They'll split unless you just leave them alone. But just something to keep in mind. And, uh, you know, when I was younger, I didn't necessarily have the white sword when I came in here. Because I didn't you know, necessarily know where everything is. Now, these things are called dark nuts. And they're a pain. Because if you attack them in the front, they will block it with their shield. So you got to hit them on the side or in the back. And if you've got a stopwatch, you know, that's nice too. All right. I've got almost the maximum amount of bombs I can have, so I'm just going to leave that there. But it should be there when we come back, and I'll probably double back through the room to show that. It'll just keep reappearing. There you go, we got the compass. So we know what the Triforce is. You can see it glowing up there. And just take care of that key. Keys. I've got six keys, so I, I guess I don't have to worry too much about conserving them. Alright, room with dark nets. I'm just basically firing blindly because uh, I got this little buffer here and I figure it makes sense to use it. It's always nice to be able to fire your sword across the level. And as, you, as you've noticed, I didn't, I've never actually explicitly said it, but you can only fire your sword when you're at full hearts. I take any damage and I gotta use a sword, well, like a real sword, a regular sword. Yet another stopwatch that looks like it's at quarter of two or a quarter of three. Oh boy, oh dear. There are a lot of enemies. I'm even getting some slowdown. There are so many enemies here. Uh, I actually don't think you have to kill all these guys. I'm going to give it a go. Um, I'm starting to run out of room. Oh, there we go. Got out, of, got out of trouble there. Once you... Yeah, see, I've, I've thinned them out a little bit. So now... The slowdown's going. Oh. Uh, well, hey, I'm still okay. And I almost wonder if I should leave this one guy here. But I want to see if they drop anything. Alright, they dropped more bombs. So I'm going to leave the bombs there too. Hopefully, when I come back, the bomb will still be there and the enemies won't. And, uh, oh, look at that. We got ourselves a raft. So you did not have to kill those guys. You saw that the stairway was completely open. You did not have to take care of all of the dark nuts. I just wanted to see if I could do it. Grab ourselves a raft. And uh, that will help us back up on the overworld. I'll try to make use of it before the, uh, the episode's up. There's... No reason not to grab the bomb at this point, so I'm going to grab it, because I'm not coming back this way. At least I don't plan to. Let's see, just checking. I, I like to check my hand-drawn map to see where I've been. Even even a lot of times when I have the map already, the, the regular map. Now these little bubbles, these things I believe are called bubbles, and what happens is when they touch you, you temporarily lose the ability to use your sword. Checking the map again. So if I... I, I can just show you. See, I can't. I'm hitting the A button. You have to take my word for it. And I can't. I can't swing my sword for a few seconds. Okay. Hitting the A button. Hitting the A button. Hitting the A button. And there. Got it back. 
So it's temporary. It's not permanent. I mean, that would that wouldn't be fair. They permanently took away your ability to use your sword. Now you can. The, the ways, obviously, the way to get your sword back is to a wait a few seconds, or b if your if your health is fully restored. They're giving us a lot of bombs in this level. Huh. Oh, by the way, those uh, those items, whether they be bombs or other things, cannot be picked up by your boomerang when they appear like that as a prize for killing enemies. I'm not sure why that is, but you can't get them that way. You have to walk over. Another stop. Well, I'm getting a lot of goodies. Okay. And let's see, we want to go right or up? Uh, I'll go to the right. I've got six keys, I should be fine. Alright, there's the map. There we go. And let's see. Alright, if I go down, I think I'm going to be heading towards the boss and the Triforce. I don't want to do that quite yet, because I would, I would like to, certainly on these early levels, because um, they're not that big, explore them, show them, you know, show everything off. And there's not much, I mean, this is the third level, and it, it really doesn't, you know, pick up. There's not much to it. Let's see. Did you get the sword? See, if, from the old man on top of the waterfall, if you haven't gotten the white sword yet, this guy will give you a clue as to where it is. And it would really help you out. Like I said, if you hit those, uh, I don't know what they're called, those blob things, they turn to gels. Um, if you don't have the white sword or stronger. If you have the, the, the wooden sword, your good trusty pointy stick, they'll just uh, split and turn into two gels. Each one will turn into two gels and you can't get any drops from them. They won't drop rupees, hearts, or anything else. I think the only thing they do drop are rupees and hearts, although maybe the occasional time clock, which I, for some reason, am seeing a lot of in my, my run-through. I don't know why that is. Alright, let's continue on. This is where I got the map, and as you can see, I've been through all but four rooms, and one of them has a Triforce, one of them has a Dungeon Boss, and this one's got Dark Nuts in it. So I'm, I'm going to be a little conservative. I should be fine. Alright, maybe I'm being a little too conservative. One down, five rupees, thank you. Two down, and three down. Door opens. And this is the room right before the boss, which shouldn't be too much of a problem for me. Even if I get hit with bubbles, I got my boomerang. Alright, there we go. Wow, I got my sword back just in time to avoid getting hit there. Alright, see now here's another thing. Here's that'll also stay there too, but I might as well take it because I'm going to fight the dungeon boss, who is this ugly thing. The reason you get in lots of bombs is because the best way to take this guy down is to get him with, a, with bombs. You can even get him with one bomb if you place it correctly. Um, you could also stab him with your sword. Oh, I got three out of four. But now the problem is. He runs around a lot quicker, and there's my full heart container, so I'm up to nine hearts, I believe. Yes. Um, he runs, he goes around really quickly, and it can be a pain in the ass to plant that second bomb. Now, I'm low on bombs, what I could do is I can go back to the dungeon, and those bombs that I, I left behind would still be there, but for two bombs, it's not worth it. I've been getting lots of them in the overworld, so I'll just let them lie. They will not be there if I re-enter the dungeon, I have to kill everything again. But there's no, there's no reason to come back in this dungeon. So there we go, another piece of Triforce. That was accidental. Uh, that armor statue. Releasing that armor statue. Just... Alright, now we look, we've got three pieces of the Triforce. Five pieces left to go. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can't uh, put this raft to use uh, before the end of the episode. See if we can uh, get a goodie. With it, I probably eh, not a big deal. All right. Now, as you might guess, the raft gets you over the ocean. So there's only, I think there's only two places. Oh, back to the beginning. And I think there's only two places in the game where you can actually use the raft. So I'm going to do that. Go. Keep on 
push through these guys. As I mentioned in previous uh, episodes, I like taking them down for rupees. They're very prone to dropping rupees, even the blue ones. So I do like to, I do like to go after them. And it's nice when they do it when I'm talking about it, so I don't look like I'm an idiot. There we go. All right. Keep going. Wow, everybody's giving me rupees. Uh, I might have time to make some purchases. Look at that. Fairies are coming in clusters. What is a group of fairies? Is that a gaggle or is that a... I, I don't know. I don't know what you call a group of fairies. <laughs> you know what, maybe I should stop. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. Alright, I'm just gonna step into this shop briefly. Because I want to see if they... They do. They sell arrows. I'm going to buy them right now because I've got plenty of money and I might even go and grab some more um, before I finish up here. So Now, there's there's a little dock there, but I can't get... I can't use the, I can't use the ref to get to it. You might think I would be able to, but I can't. But there is a way to get there. But here, I can use the ref. This, this little pier is where I can use the ref. So you get in the raft, you go across, and you get to this interesting looking little area. And a wise bald man gives you a choice, and the best choice is of course to increase your maximum number of hearts. Goes without saying. Now, I'm going to continue on my little walk here. Oh, that was unfortunate. Uh, nobody's been dropping. I was expect. I would have expected one of the blue ones to drop some bombs for me by now, but nobody's uh, nobody's obliged me. All right, there's one more thing I want to do before I finish up for the day or for the episode. Uh, now, if you go here and you push, now. I, I think of this as a... You remember that Eastmost Peninsula clue? I think of this as a peninsula that's got water on all but one side. And there's a secret here. And this guy gives me... Yeah, another hundred... Rupees. So, basically, uh, that's where we are. And I'm gonna stop here. Got plenty of money. We'll, uh... We'll take on the fourth level next time. I might spend some more of that cash. And, uh... For now, this is Ensign Level, and if there's next time, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.